okay so this is another task for scale move align and where we are trying to make this keyboard okay so here i will just do a control alt l put it on top view slightly i'll make it like this if you want it for reference okay you can take a screenshot of this fine and use it for further reference these numbers which i have mentioned over here are 18 keys here 13 of these ones 12 of these one 11 of these one and 10 of these ones remaining you can identify so that to avoid counting again and again this is for the reference these are 18 continuous keys so you can take a snapshot and try that after that you can watch the video how i have assembled or made this particular keyboard okay so let's get started we'll start by making one of these keys so i'll enable the toolbox from here first of all let me place my cursor somewhere so that there that is the place where the object will appear now i'll zoom this you can do a right click and there is an interesting thing called as a snap cursor to grid so that way the cursor will be exactly positioned on the grid now let's add a mesh cube obviously and i am going to scale it to a very small size let us see roughly i think it is this size or even uh, one more step smaller this size i think yeah that is roughly the size okay so we have one of the basic keys ready and another key that is going to be there is the smaller one so let's do one thing uh, the cursor is not required now i will copy this Control c Control v grab on y axis this is the top view as i mentioned earlier so i'll move it here fine by keeping a distance of one box over here okay right? now let's just grab them and bring them somewhere here this one is half of the size of this so let's scale this on y axis by 0.5 and okay so that is good now let us simply make 13 copies of both of these control c control v grab on x and let us place it here okay now i will copy two of this control c control v grab on x we place it here four are done now select four of them control c control v grab on x these are eight eight and five thirteen so let's control c control v grab on x and eight and five thirteen are done now i will make the remaining so these are 18 so another 5 that will do is 18 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 okay control c control v grab on x and placed fine so that takes care of the keys on the first row now what I'm going to do is these keys will be made later on bigger ones and different sizes. I'm just going to copy this and control V. You can simply copy them or if you want, you can find out 12 of them and paste that any anyways you want to do it. So let's control C control V grab on X, sorry Y and let's place them. If you notice this starts somewhere here. In between of this so grab on X and place it somewhere like this fine okay uh, on the second one so grab on X place it somewhere here fine so this takes care of this but the keys are less so let's remove this last one because these were 13 these are 12 now I will copy 11 of those no i think i copied that okay my mistake i'll get this back okay one key is coming out right now these are 11 so let us copy 11 of those fine 
control c control v grab on y let's bring it down and this one is slightly here so grab on x and move this key fine so here this key is moved 11th one is done now for the 10th one 10 keys we grab on x let's bring it sorry on y let's bring it down and here again it is here but even on side so let's grab it on y sorry x and let's place it here okay so that takes care of the basic setup of these now about these keys so let's simply take control c control v grab on x and let's try to place it somewhere here what you need to do is roughly we need to leave this space right so one two three four five six so if i increase it on x slowly i should be able to fit it yes that fits then control c control v grab on y let's bring it down now I will increase it by one unit here one unit here so scale on x and now we will grab it on y and sorry x and we will move it here I think a slight scale is remaining scale on x scale on x slightly scale on x slightly right now grab on x yes that should be good then i think there is a bigger key over here so control c control v grab on y let's bring it down three box so let's grab it on x and bring it somewhere here and now I will scale it on X. So let's hope it fits. Yes, it's done. This is done. These keys. Now we need to make few more keys. Now since these are going to be all of different size, what I'm going to do is I will going to make these keys for reference. So let's take these three keys. Okay. And these three keys are there under the last three of them. Control C, Control V, grab on X. And let's just place them here. So now I have a reference over here. The control we grab or we'll just try to place it here. And this we need to scale a bit. So scale on X slightly and grab on X and place it here. Scale on X. We we'll need to scale it a bit more, it seems. I think it got okay grab on X yes, that should be fine next key below this so let's copy this okay there's one key here I'll grab on X let's bring it here okay so one box difference is there so scale on X slightly I think slightly a bit now I can move it grab it on X and if I move it here yes so that fits another key that is required here is shift let's try grab and see if it fits now it's a bit bigger slightly bigger so scale on X and it fits good and finally this row this is remaining still to be made remember that so control c control v grab on y let's bring it down let us scale it on x and grab it on x and settle it here so this is done now what about these keys these keys okay these are three more over here we have not copied that control c control v grab on y place that and this is the shape we need control c control we grab on y and let's place it here okay because it comes on this line so i have taken this as reference now about the last line okay 
so about the last line if we notice this key is somewhat a bit smaller than the half of this so let's grab on y place it and let us scale it by 0 0.45 0 0.5 will be half 0 0.5 will give me a one bit smaller than that control c control v grab on x and let us see see it fits and these are four of them so control c control v grab on x and let's place them here then remaining three let's take them control c control v grab on x and let's place them here done now we need is a space bar control v grab let's bring something here roughly scale it on x and let's hope it fits okay slightly grab on x scale it on x again a small scale is remaining so scale on x slightly grab on x and scale on x i think if we zoom it a bit a more scale on x grab on x and we can settle it here okay so that does the basic part this part is done now we need is these keys how many are there three by four rows so we will take this now here we have left a bit more space actually there is usually in keyboard a bit more space here also but let's leave it like that control c control v grab on x and we'll leave two box spaces control c control v grab on y because they are already selected okay one more key is here control c control v grab on x this is done there is one more key here control c control v grab on y we have one more key done over here now is this keys and these keys so this key is covering this much of space so let's take this control c control v grab on y let's bring it here let us scale it twice on x grab on x and a small slight scale is ready to let's try this scale on x by 2.1 now grab on x so we can see it fits almost scale on x a bit wait bit 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 grab on x and sorry grab on x so that fits over here now similarly we want a key for this control c control v uh, control v grab on x or y rather let's bring it here somewhere in the center of this scale 2.1 on y uh, 2.1 is i think a bit smaller i don't know why scale on y 2.2 2. that's a bit bigger so let's try scale on x no not x scale on y 2.15 okay that works so you can try out these things and now since I have this control C control V grab on Y and I'll place it here. Now about these LEDs, we'll take uh, this, let's set this to select box, select this control C control V grab on X, bring them here, okay. And let's do one thing grab it on x i'll place them somewhere here in the center of this grab it on x and let's place it centered here select all of this scale them 
okay shift z we don't want scaled heights okay grab on x and let's move it here this is okay grab on x let's move it here right so that takes care of our basic setup of keys now what we need is the box around it or the body casing so let's add a mesh where is our 3d cursor we don't know so let's set the 3d cursor over here and add a mesh cube and let's first scale it on x axis scale it on x axis y say 6 grab i think this should be enough it's a bit bigger so let's scale it on x manually a bit okay okay and now let's grab it on y and bring it somewhere here fine and let's scale it on y it should just be a bit bigger than that now let's do one thing scale it on z axis so that it just gets the keys grab it on z bring it down set it with your keys and your keyboard is ready